Hey, it's your guy Tyrell back with the interviews. In today's video, we're going to briefly analyze Canadian international Jonathan David to determine whether Arsenal should prioritize the Lille striker as a main target this summer. So similar to the Isaac analysis, first we're going to focus on Jonathan David's role up front, and then secondly, we'll focus on his strengths and weaknesses and analyze whether he would be a good fit at Arsenal. So when we break it all down and we do look at the board, here we can see Lille in their 4-4-2, and first we'll analyze their overall shape and see how David operates in that system. So essentially, Lille's base shape is a 4-4-2, but it essentially shifts into more of a 4-2-4. The reason being is that their wide players are more of inverted forwards or inverted attacking midfielders. So while they do start wide, they do look to shift into central positions. That creates space for the fullbacks to push forward to provide width. And then the central midfielders often sit in deeper positions just ahead of the center backs to provide cover in the center of the pitch while the center backs may have to shift out into the wide areas or the channels to provide cover for the fullbacks. Therefore, when we shift to David, as you can see over the last two seasons, he's been able to record double digit goals domestically. And this season alone, he's one of the top goal scorers in Ligue 1. But when we shift back to the board, now we have to analyze how David is able to get into these goal scoring positions and why he's one of the most most coveted youngsters in Europe. In terms of the system, Lille is often attacking with four players, and if the fullbacks join, it can be five or six. So when we look at how David is able to get himself into good positions, what we end up seeing is, like I said, the wide players are often tucking into central areas, and we can see the front four often interchanging. David and Yilmaz are capable of dropping into the midfield zone, and those wider players are able to push forward and occupy central spaces. In terms of what we've seen from David throughout these last few seasons, both for club and country. He's often playing in a front two, and he benefits from the simple drag and drop system. In simpler terms, if David drops deeper into the midfield zone to check into the ball, Yilmaz will be looking to break in behind or occupying the two center backs. And then if Yilmaz drops off deeper into the midfield zone, whether it be centrally or out in the wider areas, David will occupy the center backs and look to make runs into the gap between the center back and the full backs or break in behind the center backs. In this example, we see the Lille wide player on the ball and focus on the positioning of David and Yilmaz. You can see that they're both not aligned as Yilmaz is checking into the ball and David's looking to make a run in behind. As that play develops, you can see that Yilmaz is looking to check in towards the center circle, but his defender isn't marking and David's looking to attack the space behind him. But as that play develops, what we see from David here is that he doesn't look to make a run in behind, but he looks to make a run into the space that Yilmaz has created by dragging away his marker. Then that creates space for the wide right player to get onto the ball. And from there, what ends up happening is that David is now placed in a 1v1 with the goalkeeper. And from here, he makes no mistake and fires a low effort beyond the keeper to put Lille ahead. Now let's focus on the Lille break. You can see that Yilmaz has dropped in towards his own half to check into the ball, but that pulls out a center back and the long ball over the top now allows David to make a run and drag his marker in towards the channel. That's the simple drag drop movement that we see from Yilmaz and David. And as that ball drops, it places David in a 1v1 in towards the left channel. The problem that he encounters here is that his marker tracks him well. And when David is marked tightly, he struggles to beat his man 1v1. And you can see that the center back does a very good job of holding him up and forcing him backwards. But with no support in behind him, David stalls. And that allows the center back to make a tackle to win possession. And that halts the Lille attack. If they aren't dragging and dropping, you'll see them spinning out into those wider areas if the fullbacks are dragged narrow or pulled out of position by an attacking player, and they'll look to occupy space in the channels to retain possession and serve as an outlet for their teammates. So in many ways, what you end up seeing is that the front two are creating space for each other by dragging markers out of position and then having their teammates spinning into the space that they create with their movement. When David drops into those midfield zones, he's often not picked picked up and that allows him to link play with his teammates and help progress the play. Here we see the Lille midfielder getting on the ball in his own half and focus on David dropping off the center back in towards the halfway circle to receive the ball in space. When the ball is played in towards David, he anticipates the pressure coming towards him and behind him. And from there you can see that he's looking to play a squared pass into Zheka who is being closed down. However, David doesn't do that, and he plays the ball in towards the left-sided attacking player who shifted into a center-forward role, and he's dropping off the center back. 
And when David plays that pass, you're expecting the return ball to go in towards Jekka, who has run off his marker, but the pass ends up going into the path of David. You could also see Yelmaz, who interchanged with that player in towards the left channel. So when David receives the ball back, he now locates Yilmaz in space in that left channel, and he helps progress Leo's play by sliding the ball out towards his strike partner. In this example, you can see David dropping off the center backs into space between the lines, and he's looking to receive the ball in that zone. You can see Yilmaz dragging away the right back in towards the halfway circle. When that pass is played, David is looking to slide it across the opposing side's midfielder in towards Angel Gomez, and that now allows him him to carry the ball forward but rather than doing that he looks to play the ball back in towards David that position David can now carry the ball towards the back four but rather than doing that David looks to slide the ball between two of the opposing sides midfielders to play the ball in towards Yilmaz so he can help progress Lille's attack he's capable of retaining possession in those tight spaces in this example focus on David dropping off the opposing sides left back in towards the ball in the midfield zone as he's interchanged positions with his teammates when David receives the ball you could see tight pressures being applied towards his back and two of the opposing side's players within close proximity. What he does well here is that he holds off the opposing side's left back and he's able to create separation with him and from there what he ends up doing is rather than laying the ball off towards his teammates he assesses the options that he has and now he has the option to either attempt to turn across the left back or drop it off in towards them. What he ends up doing here is that because he's created enough separation he turns towards the center of the pitch. He gains more space and then he's able to slide the ball in towards his teammate to progress the attack. And he's also capable of dribbling beyond defenders in those tight spaces or when he shifts out into those wider areas he's capable of winning 1v1s. Here you witness David dropping off the opposing side center back but look at the help cover around him. What David does well here is that he anticipates a lunging challenge from that center back and he's able to poke the ball around him to take him out of the game. But as that play develops a second defender comes comes across to apply pressure, but David's able to hold off both players, and from there now you expect Yilmaz to make the run across the center back partner to break in behind. David's able to evade the pressure from those two players, and from here he should be sliding the ball into left half space for Yilmaz to place him in a legitimate goal scoring position. However, unfortunately for Lille, that pass is slightly overhit, and it helps the center back partner to get across to ensure that Yilmaz can't get a shot on goal and he makes a lunging challenge from that position to halt the Lille attack. So in many ways, when David drops off into the middle third, he's capable of linking play with his teammates, and he's capable of combining with teammates to help Leo break into the final third. If that's not the case, you'll see Yilmaz dropping off deeper into that midfield zone or into the channel, and David seems to be at his best when he's breaking in behind to get himself into a legitimate goal-scoring position, and a lot of that stems through Yilmaz dragging a center back out of position to get David in a 1v1. This is not to say that we can't see both from David in terms of him breaking in behind and then creating for others. He is capable of doing both, but for the most part, both players are operating in a singular role. If we look to an example, here you can see the right back squaring the ball in towards the central midfielder and focus on David's movement across the center back in towards the right channel. When that squared pass is played, David's central midfielder does locate his run and he plays a first time ball in towards that zone between the opposing sides left back and center back to play the ball towards David's feet. From there, rather than letting it run across his body, he looks to control it, and he locates his center forward partner making a run across the opposing side center back. From there, David looks to take a touch across his marker in towards a central area. And because his strike partner has taken the center back out of the game, now he's able to break into more space. And rather than getting a shot on goal, he locates a runner breaking into left half space and he slides the ball in that zone to place him into a legitimate goal scoring position. Lille are ultimately at their best when we see them breaking in transition because then we're able to see David dropping off into his own half and then moving into space to receive the ball back and that's where now David or his strike partner are able to create for others. In this example, we witness Bamba sliding the ball across the opposing side defender in towards David who's looking to break in transition down the left channel. When David receives the ball, he looks up and he locates a strike partner occupying two center backs. From here, the center back should be within close proximity of David, but because he isn't, he allows David to attack space down that zone, and because he doesn't step, it creates an avenue for David to 
slide the ball across the opposing side's defender in towards his strike partner breaking into left half space. When he plays that pass, David's movement carries him towards the edge of the box and it places his strike partner in left half space in a 1v1. But from here, although David does a very good job of progressing the play in towards the opposing side's box, his teammates unable to pick out his marker or test the goalkeeper. If we look to another example, focus on Bamba taking away a defender towards him and David dropping off in towards the halfway circle to receive the ball. What happens next is that Bamba plays the ball in towards David and while his first touch is a bit loose, he takes him away from the opposing side's midfielders and when the pressure is being applied, he locates Bamba running off his marker and slides the ball in between two of the opposing side's players in towards Bamba down the left channel. In many cases, it's simply David dropping off into the halfway circle or into space in that midfield zone and then the wide players also breaking into those central areas so that he can link play with them or they can exploit the space that he creates if markers do pull towards him. So as you can see a lot of what David does well is systemic because when you look at the goals that he scores a lot of it stems from his movement in and around the penalty area as if that drag drop isn't working he's scoring majority of his goals from poacher positions. In this example focus on a Kone looking to get a shot on goal and three of the opposing sides defenders are around him but then focus on David in between two of the opposing side defenders at the edge of the six yard box. When that shot is fizzed towards goal the goalkeeper saves it but he pushes it in towards the six yard area and David reacts first and from there he fires a loose ball in towards the top of the net. If we look to another example it starts with a Renato Sanchez driving run from the midfield zone and focus on the positioning of Yilmaz and Jonathan David. Sanchez does a very good job of evading two challenges from the opposing side midfielders and from there he drags two markers towards him and David anticipates that and makes a run in behind. He's putting trust in Renato Sanchez to play a low ball across that pressure in towards David and he does a very good job of doing that and David's trust in Renato Sanchez and locating the space available rewards him as he receives the ball in the box. He's placed in a legitimate goal scoring position and in a 1v1 he slides the ball beyond the keeper. And then from a defensive aspect we see Lille dropping off into two compact narrow banks of four and the two strikers sit in between the deepest lying midfield there. And what we see from David is that he's capable of leading the press, forcing mistakes, and winning possession from the opposing side's defenders or midfielders. Initially, focus on David applying pressure towards the ball carrier. You can see that David's prepared to swarm him from behind. As Leo stay in their 4-4-2, and as that pressure is applied, the defender looks to dribble across David, but David anticipates that, and he puts his body across the runner to get a foot in. And from there, what you end up seeing happening is that David ends up winning possession, and then now he locates Yilmaz breaking forward to run at the center backs that are retreating, and he does well to slide the ball in towards the path of Yilmaz, and from there, now Lille could break on the counter. And from a Lille clearance, focus on David applying pressure towards the opposing side center back, who fails to deal with the initial ball. What David does well here is that when that loose ball bounces twice, he applies tight pressure near the touchline, and and now it forces the center back to clear his lines because if he looks to take a touch, David can now step in to win the ball. He ends up doing that and you can see David using his strength and his persistence to hold off the center back and he forces an error. As you can see, Yilmaz is also within close proximity. So David now is capable of breaking from that position and he can slide the ball in towards the path of Yilmaz to place his strike partner in a position to run at the center backs. David ends up carrying the ball towards the penalty area and from here he's placed in a 1v1 or he could square the ball in towards his teammates. Instead of doing that, he presents the challenge that steps in towards him and he's able to evade it. But now what ends up happening is that the passing angle in towards his teammates is closing down. When he gets a second touch on the ball, He's ahead of two of the opposing side's defenders, and you can see that the passing lanes have closed, so he ends up firing a tame effort at the keeper. So as you can see, David has proven to be a simple yet effective drag-and-drop striker in a two-man partnership, but it still appears that he will require ample service in the final third as the lone striker for a club intending to challenge for silverware on a yearly basis.